Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you a video that I had made for one of my subscribers, Phil, in answering a question that he had. And that question was, which drills are most efficient to take his game to another level? So the only thing I can think of is, you know, sharing what I have done. Uh, there's two drills or two exercises, if you will, that I primarily performed to really help my game. One was to address my stroke, and the other one was shot making. So I put together uh, a quick clip for him to answer his question. Rather than do it in a text, I thought it would be best to do it in a video. I wanna say this too, that if you're a new subscriber to my channel, uh, make sure that you set your settings on your YouTube channel to public. Why do I say that? Well, if you are a subscriber and you have a question for me, most of the time I'll answer it with a comment. But like in Phil's case, you know, his was a little more involved and I could have shared a, a past video that I may have made with him to show him the drills that I actually did show him eventually here. But my point is this, I wanted to answer him specifically because he's a loyal subscriber. Now, He's, he and I have talked back and forth. We've had comments, things like that. So I thought this would be a great thing and something very different than a lot of YouTube channels um, may not be doing. I wanna, you know, it's, there's a saying, the difference makes the difference. So for me, I've always lived by that. So if I could do something in my business that was over and above maybe competition, not that YouTube is competition, we're all unique in our ways, uh, but if I could do something differently that would help my subscribers, I wouldn't have to plead with you or those watching to subscribe to my channel. So I provide this rather than a text, like I'm saying to Phil, I put together a quick clip for him and I wanna share that with you guys today. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. The public settings, that's important because I know other YouTube subscribers have done giveaways and they would only give away uh, gifts to uh, loyal, or I should say subscribers in general. But we won't know that as a YouTube uh, creator unless our subscriber has their settings set to public. If it's not to public, I can go in and look and I won't see that you're subscribed to my channel even though you really are, okay? It's just set up that way. But I just wanted to kind of educate you guys on that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, one more thing too. Please, and I never do this, you guys. I usually do a little uh, you know, uh, uh, text that'll roll by, but please hit the like button. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out my answer to Phil. Here we go, Phil. First shot I would suggest is to shoot the straight in on this one into that far corner. Shoot it many ways too, not just with a stop shot, with a follow shot and a draw shot, and see if you can follow into that far corner or draw back into this corner. Once you become proficient at that, add two balls, the three, or the two and the three, at the spots. And then you're gonna shoot this as a drill. So the first shot is the one you just practiced and got proficient at. And I say a little bit of draw because I want it on this side, this side of the center line of the table, which we have. Now we have a nice angle. We're gonna go one, two rails. Somewhere back out to here would be perfect because we're gonna to try to play position to shoot the three into that pocket. Step around it. And that's perfect right there. It's a great exercise for not only the cut angle, like we're looking at right now, but also to gain uh, knowledge of your table speed. So we now know how to cut the shots when we perform this because we're looking at this cut angle a lot because we're gonna do this as a continuation drill. So we're gonna respot the two ball, two ball right here, and we're gonna try to gain position once again where this cue ball is now. Step around the shot, look at the line, slowly come back around. Once again, we only have to hit top. 
And we want to try to come up here. I'm a little bit, I'd rather be up here. It's okay. And now I want you to spot this three ball again. I actually cut that in a little bit different than I wanted to, and that's what cost me this position. And in fact, let me just show you something. Remember, we're always trying to come back to here. So we're going to have to hit this now with a little bit of, of spin to come off here, here, and back out. It's got to have a little bit of stun, too. Well, we're back out, but we're short. But that's okay, because that's the beauty of this. You're getting an idea for your, your um, cut angle, but now you're playing position as well. So this is a basic drill, but it really does work. And it's what took my game from 300s to 500, believe it or not, this one exercise. Now it's a little tougher because it's a longer shot. I had to put a little bit of spin on it so I could bring it further this way. Otherwise it would have been more back over here because I need to have that angle on that too. I do have the angle on the two step into the shot. I'm just going to hit a little bit of top and a little bit of right. That's actually excellent right there. So now I would continue. I'd put the two ball back on the table and I would just keep shooting this drill. It's called spot to spot. So my answer to your question would be once again, Put the one ball out, cue ball, second diamond, straight in, shoot this shot over and over again. Add one ball here, I mean uh, a two ball actually, and add the three ball here, both on these spots, and do what I just did. That will be enough to, help, to, to teach you many, many things. Position play, cut angle, ghost ball position, table speed, everything. I hope that answers your question. I could give you more drills. I have some of those in my playlist, but this one here is the most dynamic drill that I performed that helped my game. Thanks for the question and good luck.